So Ryan Garcia is raising a lot of concerns about what happened over the weekend. And I noticed a lot of the the bigger channels aren't really talking about it. However, Ryan Garcia was arrested in Beverly Hills at a hotel. He was charged with the vandalism, destroyed $15,000 worth of property. And even when the police took him out, he had a mask on. Now, if I remember, I think he got a, he was supposed to be on tour or whatever. And he ended up canceling the date. Come to find out, he got some personal issues going on involving his parents. You know, and, and you know, we wish them nothing but the best. What's going on in that situation? However, Ryan has been basically tweeting all weekend about how he trapped in a hospital and pray for him and he's afraid and you got andrew tate talking about some free my brother and ryan makes it seem like he don't know what's going on and to the the his cult following my question would be do you still think that this is an act do you still think this is an act see when he when he first said what he said i knew and i'm gonna keep hammering because repetition is the mother of all skill when he first spazzed out and then went on Twitter and started talking about what he was forced to see, you knew something was right. Now, do people sell fights? Sure. Ali sold fights. Mike Tyson knew how to sell a fight. Sugar Ray Robinson, I mean, my bad, Sugar Ray Leonard and Sugar Ray Robinson knew how to sell fights. Selling fights is part of the business. But Ryan Garcia, you can tell, has been having a meltdown. Even to the point to where this whole PED thing has came out and you know he claims this and the he blames the vitamin company vitamin company comes out say they don't know what he's talking about and then you know his fans are just going with ryan so what is ryan doing now that's my question to you fans we like train wrecks you know we have this weirdness in us that we like to see people crash and burn what ryan is doing is ryan is really crying out now he got the these this personal things going on with his parents that affects him it all makes sense now to me but some of y'all gonna still be like oh you don't know what you're talking about oh ryan's playing y'all ryan's doing this ryan's doing that no he's having he's having a meltdown he's having he's been having it ryan been knew about this information he just kept it quiet you can tell you can tell by his actions that he's been affected by it but we'll see we'll see what some of these extreme casual fans who want to see him crash and burn say are y'all gonna be there for ryan are y'all going to support Ryan? Are y'all going to tell Ryan he needs to get some type of therapy or help or, you know, to help battle these demons? Or y'all still think that he's being a genius? And the wild part is, I probably care more about, him, more about Ryan than y'all do. And I'm meaning y'all, the people who don't even watch boxing, but just riding with everything that he say. Because, you know, I've been saying that Ryan shouldn't have fought. And it wasn't just me. A lot of other channels was talking about that as well. Now, the whole PED thing is foul, and of course, he deserves to be punished and sued and everything else that comes with that. But you don't want to see people have meltdowns. But I'm just saying, a lot of people have been really quiet online about it. You know, hush, hush, shh. It don't fit the narrative. It don't get the clicks. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.